Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, 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 according to the Ukrainians, the Russians conducted a, I would say, semi-massive uh, drone attack on its territory. Uh, why? Uh, why do I say semi-massive? Um, because the number is not so big, but big enough for the Ukrainians to uh, um, report it on all their media outlets that I could uh, look into. So I have uh, two articles, one coming from Ukrainska Pravda, the other one from Ukrinform. So let's start with Ukrainska Pravda. The article is from um, Thursday, November 16th, uh, 2023. Most of Russian drones and a missile launched by Russia overnight downed by Ukraine. The assets and personnel of the Ukraine Air Forces destroyed 16 out of 18 Russian attack drones on the night of 15 per 16 of November. A KH-59, let me put this right here, guided missile was downed in Poltava Oblast. We're going to look where Poltava Oblast. I also have a, a map ready. The Russians also attack Kharkiv Oblast with an S-300 missile system. So we got so far uh, Kharkiv and Poltava. The Russians, quote, the Russians attacked from the southeast, namely Primorsko Aktarsk in Russia, using 18 attack Shahed drones on the night of 6, 15 per 16 of November. An air raid warning was issued throughout the territory of Ukraine. Air defense forces responded. As a, as a result of combat operation by the forces and assets of Ukraine's air forces, 16 drones were destroyed. Mobile air defense fire groups, fire aircraft and anti-aircraft missile units were deployed. Apart from that, a KH-59 guided air-to-surface missile was destroyed in Poltava Oblast on the evening of November 15th. The Russians attacked civilian infrastructure in Kharkiv Oblast with S-300 anti-aircraft guided missiles at around midnight. This is a little uh, picture over there. And we go to, it says here, background. This is important. Why? Because this is Khmelnytsky Oblast and that's where the uh, Ukrainians as far as I know, have the only um, airfield that they can use for um, launching the, um, how do you call those, Storm Shadow missiles or SCALP. And that's probably going to be the only one that is capable of accommodating the um, Prissy uh, F-16s when they uh, never get uh, delivered. <laughs> That's my assessment. I don't think these guys are going to deliver it. So in particular, residents of Starokostyanivsk were asked to stay in shelters. Starokostyaniv. Sorry. So that's the first one. Let's go and look over the Oblast right here. This is Poltava. Right? This is where the guided missile uh, landed or attacked. The other one is Kharkiv or Kharkov. Right? This is the one where they said... Uh, this is the second article I'm going to discuss here. Kharkiv. Yeah, so that's Kharkiv, Kharkov by the Russians. So these two, this is the S-300 here. And uh, here is Poltava. This is the guided missile. And then the Russians launched it from southeast, which is this area from here. Went over there, southeast. And then we go to Khmelnytsky. It's right here. By... Uh, Romania next to Poland because he's going to go to Poland after the war probably and here's Kiev so this is where the Ukrainians have that airfield in this area so let's go to the next article coming from Ukraine form Ukraine downs 16 Shahed drones guided missile in pop, 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 in November 16, the Ukrainian forces destroyed 16 Shahed UAVs out of 18 launched by Russia and intercepted a guided missile in the evening of Wednesday. So the guided missile, it was the one in Poltava, right? The one right here. It says the same thing as uh, we read on the other one, the same picture here. 
mobile pop 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 rup, 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 and then they say Kharkiv region using S300 surface to air missile plural so that's they use more than one towards the Kharkiv and let's say Kharkiv or Kharkov is this area right here and I'm gonna make a, uh, a statement that my people might not like it but it's a truthful statement and when it's truthful I don't beat around the bushes here so the Ukrainians report one missile or S-300 missiles uh, the other article said how many S-300s because I, I think they said one no missiles with S-300 so they were missiles uh, they didn't say how many they say it here no they don't say it on the little picture over there it says 16 downs one blah 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 so they send s300s launch i don't know how many they didn't say 3000 they didn't say two uh one whatever glided uh, is that what it was glided uh guided air to surface and then 18 drones were 18 or 19 18 drones now this is for how many hours Put that in the context of Second World War. Now, what do you think? I think this is not trying to uh, say that that's uh, no destruction and no all that. I'm just as a military perspective and uh, proportion. It is nothing. This would happen in a peaceful day in a Second World War. Peaceful day meaning, I don't know, Sunday celebrating Easter, let's say. But these guys are doing that. If this would, that's why when uh, the West media here, the West media tries and the Ukrainians try to uh, say that it's an all war, Russia uh, engaged in an all war um, attack and against Ukraine. Yeah, but the proportion is not even what the Russians could do. And I'm not talking about maybe missiles or rockets, I'm talking about troops, the potential and how much they engage over there. Um, so, nevertheless, this is uh, there are two articles I can I could find on many other um, Ukrainian media outlets, which tells me that for them obviously it was an uh, important attack and achievements. Sixteen out of, out of eighteen, that's a good achievement. That's about ninety five percent or so, ninety percent, ninety ninety some percent, ninety three something like that, ninety five. So that's a good one or ninety. It's still good. Um, I doubt that's accurate, but uh, I can't uh, find uh, opposing uh, statements coming from the other side. So probably the Russians say all of them hit the target. So they all lie. We uh, work with whatever they give us. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.